Okay, with this new mod, I've also created a template for you guys and gals. So when you go into the mission editor, what you would do is you would go to, obviously, this is the channel map, but what we want to do is create a new mission. Go into the channel, make it World War II, entirely up to you how you just set it up. Click OK, and this is the blank map. Then what we'll do is we'll go into Load Static Template and Channel Chain Home is here. So what I will do is hit Load and there you go, it puts in all of the sites for you automatically. So now all you have to do is set up the mission as I'm about to show you. Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt, job's a good one. So let me show you a mission with all of this in. Now once you've loaded the template there's no need to set up the actual radar stations themselves because that's already done for you. That's part and parcel of the template. So if we look here, all the setup's been done, um, all the namings have been done, all the naming conventions, etc. etc. So you're sorted from that perspective. Literally, all you've got to add to the mission now is a couple of aircraft and then the triggers. So I'll walk you through that now. Everyone knows how to set up an aircraft, so I've got a Spitfire here as a client aircraft, it's on a cap duty, and then I've got an Anton here, which is also on cap duty, which is an AI. So that's very simple and straightforward. What I've also done is here at Dunkirk, I set up a couple of explosions because I, I want to show you how I've set this up in the triggers. What will happen is after 10 seconds, there'll be two explosions at Dunkirk site, which will end up destroying it. Then what will happen is Dover site will then become active and then I've also set up a couple of explosions there so that when Dover shuts down and has been destroyed Newchurch will take over. I've only blown up the first two radar stations not the remainder. So as you can see it goes in a rotation round this way is how I've set it up. So let me show you how that works. Now the way I set this up in the triggers is so that you don't end up with five radar stations all shouting at you at once, giving you bra calls. So what I did from the very start is put for type 4 mission start, chain home off. So I've put group AI off for Dover, New Church, Pevensey and Dry. The only site that I want active at the start is Dunkirk. What I've said here is a one time only action Dunkirk, which is classed as Overlord via the uh, messaging system. Once that group is dead, I want to turn on Dover Chain Home Radar. Again, when Dover goes down, I want New Church to become active. When New Church goes down, I want Rye to become active. And when Rye goes down, I want Pevensey to become active. Now, obviously, I've only set up two explosions just to show you, give you an example of how it works. First two explosions are at Dunkirk, and the next two explosions are at Dover. So that just makes sure that I've destroyed the site just to show you guys how this system works. And that's how very simple this is to set up. I keep saying simple because it is. There's nothing difficult about it at all. Everything has been set up for you in the template. So there's very little for you to do apart from put these triggers together. Right, so let's now go into the mission and I'll show you how it worked. Right, so here we are in the pit. There we go, Dunkirk Chain Home Radar Station has now been hit. So it will eventually switch over to Dover. Right, Dover went live, then it was hit. And now Newchurch has gone live. So this particular method of setting it all up just stops you receiving five radar station calls all at once from five different radar stations. 
So this was the best way. So this was the best way that I could actually get this to work. And like I said previously, I will supply you guys and gals with a template uh, so that it's easy to set up and all you have to do is set the triggers up. So I hope you find that useful and I'll catch you later. Ciao for now. Bum bum bum